I love to read the headlines and see the different stories and how the markets respond. Uh, Kyle Bass is on one side. He says, U.S. interest rates uh, will fall the rest of the world to zero. A well-known he hedge fund manager with lots of fundamentals. And there's Marco Klonovic, uh, J.P. Morgan, algorithmic trader. And what he says is more than half of the moves were driven by systematic rather than fundamental trading. Um, he's the bank's head of macro quantitative and derivatives strategies. And so I know a lot of CTAs that are long bonds and they're up near all time highs. But that doesn't mean that just because they're long bonds that they're just technical traders. The technical traders, what, what Marco Kalanovic is saying is that the technicals are leading the fundamentals while um, commodity trading advisors can also be on the right side of the fundamentals. Technical traders can be on the right side of the fundamentals. Just because they're known technical traders doesn't mean that they're wrong and that it's just technical trading. Um, and so I tend to agree with Kyle Bass on this one. I prefer, I would rather Marco Kalanovic be correct and interest rates not go to zero uh, in the U.S. because that's not a good thing long term uh, to have that much stimulus and to have to go to zero. But, um, you know, I tend to agree more with Kyle Bass. I think he has better information on the fundamentals. Either way, we'll see who's right or who's wrong. And I've got this bond pivot strategy that is long today. It's been short, taking some short trades. It's gone through some drawdowns during a strong trend. And now it's a good place to enter into this strategy. Uh, as you see the, the drawdown here, uh, near worst case drawdowns. And this is in the million dollar portfolio for that reason because it does have bigger drawdowns. And this trade 60 minute bond chart. And here are the results. Uh, you see $13,000 drawdown, average trade profit 141. But the cycle, if the cycle, uh, if it cycles back in, those numbers like average trade profit go up because it's on the down cycle. And when it turns up on the up cycle, if this is right, then those average trade profits can go up. And we, a matter of fact, uh, sometimes look at use the money management algorithms to time the cycles of the average trade profit. So this is the bonds pivot strategy. Interesting news in the markets related to bonds and interest rates, and we'll see um, we'll see what happens if if Kyle Bass is right long term. If we do go back to zero, uh, the, they really want the the markets really want another rate cut. You know, they're talking half a half a percentage point to a full percentage point. And, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Uh, I don't know that Marco, I don't think that Marco Kalanovic is correct, even though the, a lot of technical traders are long. That doesn't mean that they're just technical traders. Um, and so they, they can still be on the right side of the fundamental factors. Let's take a look at the stock index portfolio today. It's having a drawdown after hitting equity peaks yesterday. So yesterday, the uh, stock index portfolio hit equity peaks, and we see the results here, 27,282.50. Here is the equity curve. You see up here, right at equity peaks, and we saw the monthly period analysis, plus 27,000 after a $7,000 drawdown. So we would anticipate a drawdown at any time, and that would be normal, like we talked about this weekend, the cycle of drawdowns and losses, and today we're getting one. Um, so tricky, trickier market than it's been with sometimes when the, when the market gaps down, it, it's like a wild bucking bull because the trend still wants to be up. And so it'll run down and rally and then come back down. And so it's harder to trade sometimes when the market gaps down like this, um, the bulls want it to go up and there's a lot of money buying the dips and sometimes that rolls back over. And so the trend can change several times intraday and make it tricky to trade. And that's what we're seeing in the stock index portfolio today. That gives you a good opportunity. Drawdowns give you a good opportunity to um, add to it or start. And so it's been on a hot streak since the beginning of the month. And having a drawdown now would be normal. And so we're taking a look at uh, the stock index portfolio here. Uh, Active Trader 2019, it's short, uh, rallied up, it's right around break even. 
Um, almost the exact opposite trait of long adaptive moving average. They kind of cancel each other out. Gap fill master was stopped out. Those those gap fills, they just gap down and go deep these days instead of uh, any quick fills. There's more of a tendency, it seems, to have a gap continuation at the open rather than a gap fill. And let's see, Night Trader, it, it had a winner last night and it is long today. Uh, the market is down. We'll see how this plays out. It came down here at this, at this point, and so that would have been a good entry point. If you're trying to time something like Night Trader with a big stop loss, you can get in on a sell-off and time it a little better, uh, at least for starting out, at least if you're starting out. QS3, it was stopped out. We're getting these, um, these stop-out trades more. Uh, we're seeing more gap continuations just right at the open. Even if the market's going to go up for the day, it just seems to, if it goes down, it continues to run down. Uh, it's a bit of a stop running market. 60 minute breakout. So it's acting a little bit like gold did last month. Uh, Asia 4, Asia 4 E-mini S&P is doing a similar thing. It, it runs up, but it won't, it won't follow through right now in this, in this trading area right here. It's kind of a wide range of congestion while the desire is to make this market run higher uh, fundamentals are are kind of pulling it down and so a wide range of um, congestion I guess you could say uh, to count uh, see gap continuation 2019 is flat today uh, stock index swing reversed from long to short it's down on the day and all the other strategies are flat so there's 15 other strategies that over here on the second half that have not traded today and that is the update interesting times we live in with interest rates I like the way we're set up to trade this this market either way it goes massive volatility or narrow volatility we have strategies that back test well during either time frame so we'll see see what happens to this market looking forward to uh, the end of August and beginning of September